James was enjoying his life on the island of Sodor, but he still had a lot to learn. You're a special mixed traffic engine, said Sir Topham Hatt. You can pull coaches or freight cars quite easily, but you must learn by your mistakes. James knew what Sir Topham Hatt meant. He could well remember that dreadful accident on his first day. Be careful with the coaches, James, said kind little Edward. They don't like being bumped. Everyone came to admire James. I'm really a splendid engine, he thought, and suddenly let off steam. Whee! A shower of water fell on Sir Topham's nice new top hat. Just then, the conductor blew his whistle, and James thought they had better go. Go on, go on, he puffed to Edward. Don't push, don't push, replied Edward. The coaches were grumbling, too. Don't, don't go, go so, so fast. fast. Don't, don't go, go so fast. fast. James didn't listen. When at last they stopped at the next station, two coaches were beyond the platform. They had to go back to let the passengers out. No one seemed to know about Sir Topham's new hat, so James felt happier. Presently, they came to the station where Thomas was waiting with his two coaches. Hello, James, said Thomas. Feeling better? That's good. Oh, that's my conductor's whistle. I must go. I don't know what Sir Topham Hatt would do without me to run this branch line. And he puffed off importantly. Edward and James passed the field where James had had his accident. The fence was mended and the cows were back again. He was waiting with his two coaches. Hello, James, said Thomas. Feeling better? That's good. Oh, that's my conductor's whistle. I must go. I don't know what Sir Topham Hatt would do without me to run this branch line. And he puffed off importantly. Almost. Edward and James Almost. passed the field where James had had his accident. The fence was mended. Almost done, man. Back again. Good job. They ended their journey and rested before setting off for home. James was still wondering what Sir Topham would have to say about his new hat. Next morning, he spoke severely to James. If you can't behave, I shall take away your red coat and have you painted blue. James didn't like that at all. He was very rough with the grumbling coaches as he brought them to the platform. Don't talk! Come on! Gordon never has to fetch his own coaches, he thought to himself, and he's only painted blue. To make James even more cross, this time no one came near him. I'll show them, he thought. They were on. Not yet. Gordon never has to fetch his own coaches, Not yet. I'll he thought let you know, to himself, okay? and he's only painted blue. To make James even more cross, this time no one came near him. I'll show them, he thought. They think Gordon is the only engine who can... Good thing ain't a But, Mom, get out. Hurry, 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 puffed James. You're going too fast. fast. You're going too fast, replied the coaches. James laughed and tried to go faster, but the coaches wouldn't let him. We're going, We're going to, to stop. stop. We're going, going to, to stop. stop. What's the matter? James asked his driver. The brakes are on. Leak in the pipe, most likely. You've banged the coaches enough to make a leak in anything. How shall we mend it? said the conductor. We'll do it with newspaper and a leather bootlace, replied the driver. But where is the bootlace coming from? asked the conductor. Ask the passengers, said the driver. <laughs> you have a leather bootlace there, said the conductor to a smartly dressed man. Please give it to me. I won't. Then I'm afraid the train will just stop where it is. The bootlace there, said the conductor to a smartly dressed man. Please give it to me. I won't. Then I'm afraid the train will just stop where it is. The passengers all said what a bad railway it was. Then they told the man how bad he was instead. Everyone was very cross. At last he handed his laces over. 
the driver tied a pad of newspaper tightly round the hole in the brake pipe, and James was able to pull the train. But he was a sadder and wiser James, and took care never to bump coaches again.